Hello everybody and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I'm your host Richard and today we are back with some student to master VGC 2015 brought to you by the Experience Share Podcast. Be sure to check them out at their website which will be in the description below. Now today we have a battle against Battler Pete nonetheless um, for VGC 2015 and I have a little bit of a uh, un unconventional team you could say. <clears throat> I wanted to try some things out so the first thing I wanted to try out was Pangoro, and of course, since Pangoro is so slow, I decided, hey, let's throw him a Trick Room, but not any Trick Room, Mega Slowbro Trick Room. Mega Slowbro is one of those Pokemon where I thought he would be used a lot more than actually is in VGC, so I figured, hey, let's bring it. Um, he happens to have quite the uh, <clears throat> conventional team, I would say. So we got a Cresselia, a Zapdos, a Terrakion, a Sylveon, a Charizard, I'm assuming why. And let me tell you, if the, and Venusaur, and let me tell you, if this is a grass pledge, water pledge, fire pledge nonsense, I'm be upset. There's no water pledge, of course, but so what should we start with? I think I'll make sure. Well, I would go Pangoro, but the problem with that is he can't really do anything to what I want him. Well, I'm gonna start with Slowbro and Heatran. No, wait, I wasn't going to start with Heatran. I was going to bring Mamoswine. <clears throat> and then what? And then Pangoro. I have him in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, Sil uh, Kenmore? Kenmore. Doesn't really bring anything for Sylveon. I mean, Pangoro has the gunk shot, especially for Sylveon. And even to make it even more unconventional, I have wide lens on. Bangoro, so he can hit um, the uh, the uh, what's it called gunk shot. Um, I mostly that because it's it's essential for him to hit it, so that's why I put it on. But he does leave with the Venusaur Charizard, typical lead for these kind of teams. So I lead with uh, I poke Chimeco, the slow make a slow bro, and of course Mamo Swine. So we might see some kind of Giga Drain from this Venusaur, but I'm not too afraid, so I'll Trick Room with the Slowbro. And Rock Slide with the Mammal Swine. Now, the nice thing about this is, um, is he doesn't have a Taunter. Um, typically, uh, with these Slowbros, you want to make them, I think it's Oblivious is the nature you want on them, so that you could just stay as a Slowbro in Trick Room, so you can't get Taunted. Unfortunately, I was lazy, and I have a Regenerator Slowbro. That's what I bred, and then I realized, hey, Oblivious is better. But, uh, you know, Regenerator, slow bro. What are you gonna do? I'll have to make an Oblivious one. It is Fire Pledge, Grass Pledge. You've gotta be joking me. Who do you attack? Mammo. He's got Focus Sash. <laughs> I hate Fire Pledge, Grass Pledge, let me tell you, because of this nonsense. Yep, that's exactly why. Because if it freaking knocks out a Pokemon, and then you get burned for turns. So Charizard goes down, so at least there will be no more of that nonsense this this game. But, I mean, it's it's a strategy. Luckily, I decided to focus Sash, my Mammo. Um, so Mammo Swine will go down to the uh, to the burning, whatever the crap it's called this turn. But, um, essentially, I only brought Mammo Swine for the Venusaur. Looking at his team, um, I could have used it for Zapdos, maybe. But, honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. And Slowbro is not going to be taking too much damage from this fire grass that is going on. I think it, now we can just bring in the Pangoro. Uh, since Trick Room is now set up, Pangoro is going to be ready to uh, take out whatever comes in. Uh, there's a few Pokemon it doesn't want to deal with. Um, let's see if... it does bring out. He does bring out Crest, which Crest is one of the ones we can do significant damage to. So Psy Shock from the Slowbro should take out the Venusaur and Crunch from the Pangoro should do a decent amount to the Cresselia. Cresselia helping hands the Venusaur. Uh, I don't think Venusaur will live a Psy Shock. Let's see, Slowbro, can you do it? Oh, it does not do quite. It does not do enough at all. <clears throat> He's probably going for the Giga Drain then. Crunch does about half. Uh, Grass Pledge. He's just gonna continue to Grass Pledge, I guess. Does that keep getting the boost? It doesn't. The fire shouldn't take out Slowbro. No, it doesn't. So Slowbro should be able to take out the, uh, the Venusaur this following turn, and the Pangoro 
may be able to take out Crest after this leftovers recovery. I don't know if it will for sure. Um, I was about to get ready to start poking my computer, which is uh, not where you poke to uh, to um, get attacks to go. <clears throat> I was wondering if we were going to be able to take out Venusaur or Psy Shock because I know uh, the Slowbro ha oh it has protect. I was wondering if it was going to have protect for uh, having me die to the whatever it's called, <clears throat> the uh, burning. We should take out this crest though. Oh, it lives. And it gets a moonlight off too. That is rather annoying. Rather annoying. Uh, what's the last Pokemon I brought? Oh, uh, Rotom. And the fire is still going, so that should kill my Slowbro. I thought about switching it out because I assumed Venusaur would have the, uh, the Protect, but what are you going to do? So Slowbro goes down. Pangoro takes some damage. <clears throat> And Cress is going to get some health, of course. If curious, my hers. Um, as does Venusaur. Uh, the only thing now is we don't really have anything for Venusaur. I'm trying to decide if a Stab Crunch or a... I mean, it'll be neutral with Gunk Shot. Um, I will just Thunderbolt the Cresselia. Then I'm going, <clears throat> going to Crunch the Venusaur. Cresselia's going to help in hand once again. I probably should have doubled up into Venusaur uh, with Thunderbolt and Crunch, but let's see how much Crunch does. Does not do enough. I, th I should have Thunderbolted. Now he's going to Grass Pledge the uh, Rotom Wash. Yep. That should kill. It doesn't kill. And our Citrus goes up. I don't know if that fire is still burning or not. I don't know how many turns that goes for. It is still going. I hate that move so much. <clears throat> but, uh, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Um, it's a weird setup, too, with, with, uh, what, when it hurts what. Because Cresselia actually got leftovers recovery in between. So the Sea of Fire does disappear. Um, I have a feeling Venusaur is going to protect. Even if it doesn't, I'm going to double into the Crest. It doesn't protect, so Venusaur will get an attack off on our Rotom. And Crest Moonlights. Annoying AF. I mean, what are you going to do? It's a Crest. If you don't take care of it fast enough, it's going to sit there and do that. Honestly, I should have probably attacked the Venusaur, because now Venusaur is a problem. We do paralyze the Cresselia, which is nice. Venusaur Grass Pledges, that should kill my Rotom. But, uh, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Sunlight does fade. Um. Trick Room should disappear, too, this turn. Unfortunately. Yep, there goes Trick Room. So we do lose this first one. But, uh, what are you going to do about it, really? Um, I'm going to crunch the Venusaur. Uh, it will probably take us out. I don't, actually, I don't know if it will. Uh, I don't know how much Venusaur does to a Pangoro. Venusaur does Synthesis, so... So, I mean, he could have could doubled the... Oh, I don't know if his, uh, his Cresselia has anything to touch Pangoro with, is the thing. I don't know if it has, uh, whatever it's called. He's gonna just gonna double heal here. You know what? I'm gonna try something... Cause I, cause we've lost this battle, but I just want to see what, how much gunk shot does to a Venusaur, just to have that knowledge. If it's doing more than Crunch does, I mean it does show that I have gunk shot, so he'll know it for Sylveon. But I think I'd rather ha have the knowledge of how much gunk shot does to a Venusaur, cause Venusaur has been the biggest problem for us uh, this game. And next time I won't bring Rotom. He does Grass Pledge. We should live it, which we do. Gunk shot. Okay. I think it does about the same as as Crunch did. And he's gonna Icy Wind. And this next turn he can take us out, so if he's just gonna synthesis and whatever, it'll be annoying and I'll probably just I'll probably just run. Because at that point I mean he's already one, he can just attack and knock me out. Okay, he does good. Alright, so Grass Pledge will take me out. And we'll be going into game two. Now, 
again, last, like I said, uh, this previous, or not this previous, like I said two seconds ago, <laughs> wait, does my roadmap protect? That's a thing I should probably remember. Because if that's the case, I can lead Rotom Mammal Swine, protect with Rotom, knowing that he, or, knowing that he knows that Mammal Swine has Focus Sash. And then, let's see. Let us see, let us see. If I'm able to even check my Pokemans. And if he, and if he hit Battle Start again, or if I have to go out and go back in. Alright guys, coming back in. We are now set to go for the next round. Um, again, I'm thinking... Well, let's... Yeah, we can look at our Pokemon. I don't know why I thought we couldn't. Rotom Wash. Oh, this is my singles Rotom Wash, so it doesn't have Protect. Shoot. Shoot, dang. Um, Let's bring in Heatran to start off. This Heatran has Ancient Power, right? It does have ancient power, sweetness. All right, Heatran and Mammal Swine, and then I'm thinking uh, Slowbro Pangoro. So we'll keep that Trick Room aspect. Um, this Heatran also works under Trick Room because it's uh, minus speed nature, zero speed IVs. So a little bit different of a Heatran, but I wanted to try it out, and uh, because of the weaknesses of Slowbro and Pangoro, it kind of worked. Uh, other than like the fighting weakness of Pangoro. So Crest and Sylveon actually lead off, so unfortunately I don't have my Pangoro out here, which, I mean, is also good at the same time because Sylveon's out here. But we have Heatran out here, which is amazing for Sylveon. Amazing for Sylveon. So we can we can uh, Flash Can the Sylveon. I'm going to Icicle Crash the Crest to try and flinch it out. I mean, it's probably going to Helping Hand turn one. Um, Because... Icy Wind really doesn't do anything. It doesn't need to Moonlight yet. Sylveon's going to protect against my Flash Cannon. So what is Crest going to do then? I mean, we're going to Icicle Crash it, so... If it flinches, we won't know, but... I'd like to see what Crest is actually thinking it can do here. It's going to Psy Shock against the Mammal Swine. So that's a thing. And then Flash Cannon is going to protect. Um, Crest isn't really doing that much. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to flash can the Sylveon, and then I'm going to Rock Slide in case... In case, like, Charizard or somebody wants to come in. I don't think Charizard will come in, just because there's a Mammoth Swine out here, and Icicle crashing the spot that it'd probably come in on. Cresselia is going to Helping Hand. Um, the Sylveon might have Hidden Power Ground, but we'll see. Rock Slide's going to go first, of course. Mammoth Swine is jolly. Uh, can we flinch? Nope, it is going to go straight for the Hyper Voice, which should do quite a bit to Mammo, taking it out, which I kind of assumed... Critical hit on that uh, on that heat trend, and you see how little it did. It is a life orb Sylveon. This flash cannon should do quite a bit to it. It actually takes out Sylveon, so we got a one for one going on here. Um, right down Cress, right down Sylveon, and knock it out. Sylveon, Heatran. Yeah, it bear it did like forty damage. To Heatran forty seven, I think, is how that maps out. Mammo. Um, I have a Pangoro and a Slowbro. Um, at this point, I'm going to bring in Pangoro. Even though we aren't under Trick Room, I want something that's going to be putting pressure on that Cresselia. While, uh, Heatran is out here. We got Terrakian out here as well. So that's a problem for both of my Pokemon. Uh, Heatran, I'm going to save, though. I'm going to bring in the Slowbro. And Pangoro is actually going to protect to see what Terrakian is trying to do. Ugh, Terrakian is a problem for this team. Slowbro comes out. Helping hand from the Cresselia. I protect with uh, with Al, Big Al over here. Terrakian close combat into the Slowbro spot. Does not do enough damage. And I also don't think we need to get up Trick Room right now. Um, because I'm going to Mega Evolve, Psy Shock, the Terrakian spot, and then I'm going to withdraw my uh, 
my Pangoro, go into Heatran. He's probably going to take a close combat. But at this point, I'd rather have Pangoro for the Cresselia. He's actually switching out his Terrakian into Zapdos. And I do Psy Shock that spot. Um, I don't know how much Zapdos can do to my Slowbro. I am specially defensive invested. Uh, so we'll see. It. I'm able to take a Shadow Ball from an Agislash. So I don't know how much it would do to a Zapdos. Cresselia does Icy Wind. Um, both these Pokemon will take it very nicely. Being resistant. And he's going to lower my speed. Uh, again, this is a Trick Room team, so they're already slow. It doesn't really matter. Zapdos avoids the Psy Shock. Does it have Bright Powder? That's the only way it could. Well, that's uh, just that's just tricky. Um, he is going to Thunderbolt where my Slowbro is. I kind I I have to sl save Slowbro. Uh, apparently my phone's on, so I will switch out Slowbro for uh, whoever I just switch into Pangoro, because I do have to save Slowbro for the uh, Terrakian. So, Slowbro come out, uh, go in Pangoro. Unfortunately, Pangoro is going to take a Thunderbolt from Zapdos. A helping hand Thunderbolt at that. Yep, there it is. Pangoro, can you take it? Oh, crit. Thanks. Ancient Power won't do a ton, but it'll do more than what other things would. So, oh, well, okay, come on, Capture Card. You can do it. Alright. So, Cresselia gets the leftovers. Um, let's protect Pangoro. And then I'm going to Heat Wave. No. My priority is the Zapdos right now. Darn it, he Ancient Powers. I should have Heat Waved. Um, I don't know what this Crest is going to want to do. Maybe another Icy Wind? Well, we've already... Yeah, another Icy Wind. We've already shown that Icy Wind doesn't really do too much to a Heatran. Um, Ancient Power won't do anything. Huh. We're kind of in this position where I think he has it, but we gotta we gotta keep fighting, Brez. We're gonna crunch the crest. Ancient Power. This is our final ancient... Ah, oh, pressure. I forgot about pressure. This is our final Ancient Power. He does roost. So, I mean, this crest can get off an icy wind, but I think Pangoro... It's, no, it doesn't, because I'm so... Speed minus invested. So Pangora will go down, unfortunately. So we will have a rough time with this Cresselia. Um, and this Ancient Power is not going to do anything to Zapdos. So we're at the point where I don't think we can win anymore. I forgot to write down Zapdos, which really doesn't matter at this point. Pangoro's down. Mammal's down. So we'll bring in the Slowbro. Which will be able to take like a hit or two from the Zapdos, but... After it's taken those hits, um, it really can't do anything to Terrakian. I could have set up the Trick Room there, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to Heat Wave since we're out of Ancient Powers. Cresselia is going to Helping Hand Zapdos. Actually, we might not take a Helping Hand Thunderbolt. Let's see. Slow Bro? Nope, doesn't take it. Does not take it. And actually, this team was meant to have a Zapdos on it, but I don't have one yet. Uh, I haven't had time to go catch one in Pokemon X, so... We have Rotom, and obviously that Rotom costs us some problems with Grass Pledge, and then assuming the Grass Pledge, Fire Pledge, the following game was kind of a mishap on our part too. So now he can just he can just double up into Heatran. Uh, well, actually, he could pro he'll probably just Helping Hand Thunderbolt. He'll do more than anything Cress has. I don't know. I don't know why it's taking him time to do that. There we go. Helping Hand Thunderbolt. Yep, there it is. Let's see how much this does. Wow, Heatran actually takes that quite well. Zapdos avoids, which is the one we need to be hitting. Cresselia can't do anything to me. Thanks, Heatran. Thanks a lot. And I always forget, is it steel that resists electricity, or electricity that resists steel? I can't remember. Otherwise, I'd be going for flash cannons. I could probably look it up on my phone that decides it wants to talk during the video. 
Alright. Go up. He's going to, of course, help hand Thunderbolt again. Only makes sense. And it does knock out Heatra in this turn. So, good game to Battler Pete. Of course, uh, links to his Twitter and his YouTube page will be in the description below. He doesn't have any videos uploaded yet, but I'm sure there'll be some soon. So, be sure to be checking them out. And thank you guys so much for joining me. We will see you in the next Student to Master. Goodbye.